what are you? Oh, you're somebody's address. Oh, wow. How hard would it be to replace these? This is a little piece of probably Fenton. I'm kind of excited to get to the wood and metal shelves if I'm finding this kind of quality stuff. This caught my eye right off the bat. Oh my goodness, look at all the little Pillsbury Doughboys. Hoping to find some more of that Disney stuff. Oh, what's that? I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Hello. Well, it has been an eventful last few days. Uh, as you probably saw, I didn't even put a video out on Thursday. And uh, today, I'm very, very, very busy beefing up my security system because I have a stalker. Yes, I have a bona fide stalker. Um, so, it is, I guess it just, it just comes with the territory. So a lot of people go, Danny, why don't you tell us like where, what store you're at and stuff. And again, I say because I don't like to give a clue to somebody who is so obsessed with my life uh, that they jot down every detail and find a pattern. Uh, so that's, that's why I don't do that. But, and I generally don't even say when I'm filming things so they can't put timelines, but it's happened. I got a little, I got a little loose with my information and, um, literally have had to take some actions to protect my family, uh, which was a little stressful. Uh, so all that being said, we're good. We're on track. We got it taken care of. Uh, the police are informed and, uh, Several of my neighbors around me are now informed and watching out for me. So I feel pretty good. Feel pretty good. Feel really good, actually. And uh, now I'm back to shopping. I'm back to shopping. I am at Savers today. Hmm, I haven't been here for a while, but I had a comment that says, why don't you ever go to Savers anymore? And I'm like, I don't know. I just haven't. Uh, so here I am today. We are at Savers. We are gonna go in and see what we can find and in the new extra selective picky mode that is really, really working well. And if you're a reseller watching this, I hope you can learn from my example of, of taking check of kind of where your business starts getting off track and analyzing and pulling things back in so you can get back to super successful shopping again. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm going in. I'm gonna see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right, first things first. Let's get us a lucky cart. This one looks good. And orange tag. Wow, there is some big art. Let's see, I, I think of this savers, this is one of my favorite sections. This is really eye appealing. Mohinier Artworks. Francis Cahanye from California. That is really nice for $3.99. Hey, look, we're on a roll right inside the door. That That's super, super nice. And it's zebras. And uh, it's only $3.99, so we're gonna grab it. The panda art is really cute. It is a print. Actually, it is it a print? Because it almost looks like a pastel. I do believe it is a print, but it's a double signed print. Double signed means the printed signature is on there, but it's also uh, it's also signed with that one's pen. Sometimes it's pencil. That's also just $3.99. Super appealing. That wouldn't be hard to ship either. So I think I'm going to put that one in the cart too. Now that I have my Shopify store up and running, I do believe I'm going to get a lot more of my art listed. These are Juliet Izadi. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. For me, it's about the eye appeal, the emotional content of a piece of art. You know, what it kind of does to your soul. That's how people pick art. I mean, that's a very famous little print. 
1970s. Not worth a whole lot though. I will leave that one. But some of you looked at that and go, oh, that's emotion. You want the emotion behind the goodies. I did it. I, I saw I saw the Winnie the Pooh. That's a little hard. That one, a little hard to ship that one. So I look for things that are easy to ship. Where are you? Oh, you're somebody's address. Oh, wow. How hard would it be to replace these? Oh, not hard at all. Look at that. These come right out. So literally, those could be replaced and that could be somebody's address placard. I wonder how old this is. They do want $10 for it. So I feel like I need to look this up. Make sure it's worth at least 30. Yep, it sure is. It's worth a lot more than 30. So that's a pretty good score right there for $9.99. See the bunnies, cute little print, 1983. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that one. It's kind of nice. It's older. But again, I'm thinking of the shipping on that one. It's got glass and not really the one I want to deal with today. All right, let's go look at stuff. Dolls. Sometimes these animatronic dolls can be worth picking up. I don't tend to pick them up and sell them, but some people do. The Strong Museum Collection. That's got me a little intrigued. What does she look like? I was gonna say, it's trying to look like one of the 1800s dolls. Oh, some Funko Pops, Star Wars Funko Pops for $10. I don't really know too much about those, but I do know about little lacquer boxes. Look at that. For five dollars, the Queen of Clubs. What is the significance of the Queen of Clubs? Not the one you normally see. This is really clean, nice. I believe this is worth around fifteen dollars, so I'm gonna pick that up. I think these are formalities. Yep, sure are. They had to look pretty. Not really worth a whole bunch. Definitely not worth. The hassle factor. This is a little Lolita Pilsner glass. Is it the ornament? It is the ornament. Oh, it's the basketball. Basketball version. Let's keep looking. Warren Kimball. Look at this. Looks like snake skin. That's that new modern goofus glass look. There's a lot of it out there and it's very cheaply made. It's not I mean, the original Goofus glass is not like super high quality glass. It's just the fact that it's so old. And if you find a piece in good condition, there's very little of it out there in good condition. That's another interesting little box. Do you see how that's put together? I don't know what that is called. It's very interesting though. Again, for $5. This one I'm not sure is worth the $5. And then this one is an older, the trick is going to be too getting this price tag off without hurting the paint underneath. It's going to have to be, I'm just seeing how it's stuck on there it is. Yeah, it's going to have to be heated up really well. This box is older. This box looks to be Italian for $3.50. I'm going to pick that one up. I'm going to kind of think in my mind, if I switch those two prices, let's say this one was $3.50 and that other one was $5, I would have paid $5 for that other one. Would I pay $3.50? I think I would. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one too. Okay. We're on a roll. I believe this is Indiana glass. I do believe. Is there, or is this one Jeanette? Jeanette made a version of this as well. Uh, it's $8.50. Yeah. Unfortunately, not quite worth that. That's trying to look like Heron, but failing miserably. There's a cool elephant. Look at him. It's kind of fancy and nice. 
for 550 though. I'm gonna leave him. If his trunk was up, oops. If his trunk was up, I'd probably pay the 550. But there's a less of a uh, customer base with a trunk down elephant. Oh, look at here. Let's look at this one. Pretty little cedar box. This is not a lane. Oh, I just want to address something. Uh, a couple videos ago, I bought a little lane cedar chest salesman sample, and I had a lot of people telling me that's not a salesman sample. They gave them out to girls at graduation. And the very essence of a salesman sample is an item that makes you want to go buy the real version. Why do you think they gave those out? They wanted the girls or the families to go buy the big version of the little version. It was fantastic marketing. They are absolutely salesman samples. That's what they are. Uh, but anyway, this one is not. Uh, but this one is nice. Look at, look at the little dovetailing here. And uh, it's got all the hardware. It does not have the key, but it's got the lock, which is interesting. So it doesn't shut because it doesn't have the key, but I bet there's a key out there somewhere easy to be found. And for $3.99, that's a good buy. All right, so it is a little box kind of a day. I do, I see the turtles, I see them. They are very, very not good quality. So we will leave those, but let's look at these. Oh, I, I thought these were better quality than they are. Cracking. They're kind of interesting, but they're not in the greatest of shape either. So we're going to leave those. This is a little piece of probably Fenton hobnail. Yeah, this is Fenton, but look, it's got a big boo-boo. Oh my, look at this giraffe mask. Oh, you're in, oh, it's fabric on there. You're kind of interesting, made in Indonesia. For four fifty. Trying to figure out if, if is that yeah, I guess that's the color of the fabric and not staining. Is it? Is it? I don't know. It just it makes it look a little dirty and his ears a little chewed. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave it. It's kinda cool though. But then oh boy. Like, I don't know if we need any of these. I just don't know. This one's kind of cool though, and his little black thing here for 350. I think I'm gonna resist this time. I find them often enough that after we get decorated, we'll figure out if we need any more. This, however, looks to be a little, uh, eh, I don't think it's old enough to be Lucite. I'm gonna see if I have my black light. Yeah. If this was Lucite, it would be glowing like crazy. It's not. It's just acrylic. Oh my goodness, look at all the little Pillsbury Doughboys. Oh, they're $4.50 each. Who makes you? How old are you? 1997 Danbury Mint. I will look these up. I will look up and see if these have value. Well, who to thunk? These little bad boys sell for like $20 to $25. Some of them even more. So we are going to pick these guys up for $4.50 each. I'm just making sure there's no damage, but I don't see any. Wow, how super cute are they? Super cute! I'm going to put you there so they can see this one. Now these will probably end up in one of my whatnot sales because I can do them like choice, you know? Somebody just wants one of them and uh, that'll make them really easy to sell, super easy to ship. They're going in the cart. I see this little satsuma style egg here i don't think i can pay seven dollars for it it's got the moriage this one isn't super high quality either so we'll pass on that but i gotta look at these penguins who makes you oh you're a lefton for 650 you're kind of spectacular Ooh, i like you i like you and i like your friend he's 550 they look both the same maker. I didn't peel this one to see if it's the same maker, but I feel like those need to go in the cart too. I'll be honest, I, I came here with very low expectations and I'm pleasantly surprised at the quality I'm finding. Like, here's another one. Yep, you are also left in. You are also going in the cart. 
Okay, let's see what else is up here on the little nickety nackety shelf. I'm kind of excited to get to the wood and metal shelves if I'm finding this kind of quality stuff. This is signed Maasai. I'm trying to decide if it's ceramic or if it's wood. I think it's wood. It's also signed Achatit right there. I may give that a look up. It, it's got a really nice look to it. I'm going to see what that one's all about as I scan. Let's see if there's anything else I'm going to need to look up. Might as well be looking stuff up all at once. Oh, wow. Look at the evil eye tree. The evil eye is to ward off evil, to guard you, keep you safe, according to... It's not... I almost said myth. I don't think it, myth is the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? It's like that's... That is what some people believe. It doesn't make it a myth. Uh, it is missing one, though. So we will leave that. A little porcelain box here. Who makes you? Patina V. Patina V. History and style collide. I might look that one up too. That's got a nice look. Well, surprise, surprise. Put this in your memory banks. Uh, Patina V is an anthropology brand. And this has a really nice look to it. That'll clean up quite nicely, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a sticker on there. Uh, so for $5.50, we're gonna get that. And this should sell in the $20 to $25 range, which is a little shy of that $6.50. Uh, but this is not hard to ship or anything, so we'll take a little bit lower margin on it and get it because it's really, really nice. I did wanna take a look. Oh, he's very lightweight. And then we'll look at like this Majolica monkey candle holder. He's kind of fun, but he's a no. All right, let's keep going. Oh yes, the Halloween goodies are coming out. I would like to know how many of you are following my daughter Jordan over <laughs> with her adventures with uh, keeping a tally of how many things she can decorate with and whether or not her boyfriend will notice. She's doing a daily short of that little uh, journey. And it's pretty fun, I gotta say. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm waiting. He's winning right now. And so uh, she's gotta figure out how to get ahead of the game because he keeps spotting everything. Ooh, cute turkey, very cute turkey. I feel like I might need this turkey for $3.99. I kinda do, I kinda do. I do have a little bit of a weakness for turkeys and um, pumpkins during the fall season. Actually, there's pumpkins in my kitchen year round, but the turkeys come out during the uh, the fall season. That's really a cute bucket that we don't need. Pretty, pretty. I don't think it's very high-end or anything. I mean, it's $10. Now, here's the thing. Would it sell for $30? Probably. But the cost of dealing with this item is much higher. So it's the $10 price tag plus the shipping materials and things that it takes to ship this. The cost of the shipping is going to be higher, which can reflect a lower selling price on it. Uh, so for those reasons, it's not like a super spectacular piece. I'm gonna leave that one Let's See what else we got. That is an interesting sugar skull Sugar skulls are popular actually year-round I have found Let's see are you vintage? Mm, nothing to indicate your vintageness I think you're not then oh you're not vintage you're on foam, okay? got some Christmas stuff here. Let's see. Anything really screaming at me. I'm not seeing anything really screaming at me. Snoopy mugs. If it was closer to Christmas, I might pick up a Snoopy, but I can pass on Snoopy for now. I did already do my Easter and August sale, so I'm going to hold back on picking up the bunnies. 
that was a fun sale to do, I, I must admit. Really enjoy dealing with all the bunnies. That's a cool tree, but it's plastic. Okay. Ooh, I'm watching them bring out new things and they stick them on the shelf. You don't really get to see what's on the cart. It's a very quick move on their part. I never noticed they did that before. So things are coming out, being put on the shelves. All right, little frames and such. Don't need anything there. Lots of end caps with things. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. No. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> okay. All right, candle section. Can sometimes have a goodie or two because there are some really good candle holders out there. Things like glassy babies, which I have yet to find one in the wild, but they're out there. This is a good time of day to possibly find one too. Get this little 2008 this little little student project there. Fun fish. Look, watch Danny. Watch Danny move right by him. I don't need him. Pretty soon, I will be able to show you the progress I have made in getting my collections out and displaying them. It's still a little bit of a mess at this point because I'm, right now it's like just get it unpacked and put it somewhere. It doesn't have a specific home yet. Okay, this is a really nice piece. Let's see, 20 bucks. I feel like this might be worth 20 bucks. That is heavy. The thing is, oh yeah, it's old. It's got a 451 under there. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. That's kind of a spectacular candelabra, and it is solid. And I, I believe this is a bronze more than a brass. Is it broke? No, it's not broken. It's got all four of the little things there. You know what? I am, I'm paying 20 bucks for that. That's a really super nice piece. That was kind of an exciting piece to find. They are there. They are there at your thrift stores. If you just keep going. I kind of like the look of these. I don't think they're anything really great because that is not actually the color of the glass. That is a stain that they put on the glass, but I like the look of it. All right, metals. See what we've got here. Some interesting, but newer. Oh, I'm not going to pick these up right now, although I do really, really love them, but I find them pretty often, so I can resist. Cow jumped over the moon tray is really cute. Mm. It's dented. Oh yeah, it's really dented. In better condition, that might, that might be a temptation. Look at this. Look at all the little safari animals, unfortunately. Well, I don't see it on the outside, but there is a... Oh, it's not a crack. Never mind. It's a stain. It's a lacquer. Oh, 350. 350. I think I can't resist this one. Let's see. Fisherman's ruler. That's kind of fun. Actually, that's actually really fun. For six bucks. I like it. I like it. I like the fisherman's ruler. What a great gift idea for that uh, special fisherman in your life. I don't see a maker on it. It's six bucks. Yeah. I just, I like it. Look at this little miniature chest, like doll size, but look at the, look at the hardware and the, the little plating on the front and it's like this rustic looking wood and look underneath and see if there's anything there is date of manufacture 2018 gosh that is really cute and I have people coming in looking for um, doll items all the time so I'm gonna grab that for eight bucks 
Okay, cart's getting a little full. And what I always forget when I come here is that they have uh, no bags. Hopefully, maybe they have a box. Maybe they'll have a box for me. Speaking of box, this one came from Chinatown, Los Angeles. Another little cedar box. This one is $3. It is very vintage. And because I bought all those other boxes, I'm kind of on a box theme. So for $3, I'll pick that up. And let's look at the last of the wood section. Here's another little box. These are pretty common. I find these a lot, these little carved wood boxes. This one's six bucks. That's not a super deal for picking that up. And that one's, I mean, it's okay, but not like super vintage or anything. I was really hoping to find one of the Lane cedar boxes, but here's another cedar. Now, I don't know if this is meant to have a hinge and it's off, because that lid doesn't, I mean, it just sets there. Yeah, something, something's off about that one. We'll leave that one. And then they got more Halloween stuff scattered here on the end cap. But let's go into the fakeness. This caught my eye right off the bat. These really, really gaudy um, fake succulents. But I like the little pot that they're in. It's really nothing that special though. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that one and look in the baskets. Hmm. A little fake strawberry plant. I love, oh, it's not. It's just a wreath. Like, I would be a sucker for just getting the fake strawberries. I can't grow strawberries to save my life. So, you know, I put fake ones out there to make it look like I can grow them. And then we'll be in the vases here. Now, I sold some of these at my estate sale. These kind of spaghetti vases. Unfortunately, this one's really scratched up. So we're going to leave that one. I see... A vase here that is Mexican pottery, if I can get to it. There we go. Let's pull this one forward. Look at the color on that. That is pretty spectacular with the bird. It's 850. It's a terracotta. That's a really nice piece though. I think we will pick that one up. So I spotted these little milk glass pieces. There's two of them. I don't know right off the bat who makes them. Let's see if there's anything under the tag. Somebody had them priced at $15, which is what I'm thinking, 12 to 15 on these. But uh, I don't believe you are. Okay, they're Imperial, Imperial glass. They've got the mark, the Imperial glass mark. That's what I wanted to see. I was gonna say, I don't believe they are Westmoreland, which is a, major melt glass manufacturer. The fact that there's two of them is really, really appealing. Um, $4.50 a piece. I'm going to get those. And then this little piece looks like Wedgwood, but it's not. I believe Avon put these out. They're just kind of covered over glass and made to have that look. Look at this little bread dough kind of guy. This is what I was trying to get down to. Exoterra, that's what I thought. You are a reptile bowl. A little big for my guys. Either a little big or a little small. I need something a little different than that one. And let's see, anything hiding back there? I don't see anything. Keep going this way. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. Clear. There's another little Satsuma egg. All right, I don't see anything in the vases other than what we got. And quick look through the pet stuff and yeah, nothing too exciting here either. Okay, dishes, dishes, dishes. Those are really pretty. They are signed, kind of art pottery pieces. I like them, but I'm, I'm going to leave those. We got to kick into a little bit of selective mode because the cart is filling up. And Danny has to get every bit of this researched and then put down in the Shopify store, which will be... Now, we're having a little issue with the Shopify items linking. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So what I will start doing is putting 
a link to this collection into the first comment. So it'll be a pinned comment. La Vern, Vern, Vernes, Verns, La Verns, La Verns. It's very pretty. There will be a link in the first pinned comment that will take you to the items that I purchased in this video. But there is an entire store now full of items from my videos. So it's, oh, wait, you need to go over here. It's nicheladyshop.com. Nicheladyshop.com is how you get there. There you go. You get with your friends. Do you see what I see? I love the price. This is a Korok tray with an owl for $2.50. Yep, Korok. Love it. Oh, I see the silver overlay dish. Sadly, it's got a lot of damage. Actually, is it damage or is it tarnished? No, I think it's just tarnished. It's tarnished, but this, this one's kind of big and heavy and clunky. A little bit harder to ship versus the price that it's going to bring. So I will leave that one. And I think... I think our Korok is the big score on this aisle. All right, we'll go rather quickly through this aisle because it is small appliances. And when I'm going down this aisle, I'm looking for things that are either out of place or unusual, like a little whale lamp, but he's he's not that great. Um, anything that may be here, you know, that's just not the common thing, like, 15 that's what they want on the little kind of jewelry stand there all right i don't see anything we can't live without same thing plastics we give it a quick scan i mean i did find a vintage tupperware the other day that i sold for 20 dollars. so uh the things are out there that have value in almost every department so that is why i look at every department and there are some other little kitchen things over here that I want to take a peek at. I see the reamer. I wish it was a color. I don't tend to pick up the clear ones. Oh, I thought you were salt and peppers. You're not. What are you? Toothpick holders. That must be what you are. And I see a fish. A little fish dish. So I'm looking for quality. I'm looking possibly for Arthur Court. If it's Arthur Court, I really do like this guy for $3.99. Look how fun he is. Just a little bowl. He's not super light. He's not super heavy. He's just, he's kind of just right for $3.99. I'm going to grab him. All right. I don't suspect I'm going to get much from this department, but I do see a little bone china cat and dog mug by Doorways Designed by Sue Scullard. It is $4 though. We will leave it at $4. I feel like they switched. They used to have all this glassware on the other side. And I look over there now and I see plates and bowls. So they switched it up. Put the glasses here. I always makes you wonder like what? What caused them to do that? Like what did they study and I mean, was glassware just not selling because it was on the end aisle? So they're moving it around to see if they can increase sales of the glassware. I don't know. I don't know. Got to think what goes through the minds of a retailer. This is a cute little, he looks like a beaver. Oh, he's pure one. I mean, squirrel, squirrel. Why did, I mean the teeth, the teeth, but then the tail is definitely squirrel. Let me see. Is that just a glaze? Yep, that's under the glaze. So they just missed a little spot of paint when they were making him. There are no chips on this guy. Oh no, he's meant to be that way. It's just texture. He's two fifty. Yes, we're getting him. This looks like Butterfly Meadows, but it's not. It's by Marjolin Baskin for Hallmark. Same kind of butterfly pattern that the... Uh, it's Lennox Butterfly Meadows that makes that pattern crabby in the morning oh my lazy one mug you know who's crabby in the morning i'm gonna tell on him noah's noah's just a little on the crabby side in the morning he's a sleepy head <laughs> takes him a little while to get going ah he'll admit it 
He knows. It's okay. Couldn't love him anymore. All right, we're gonna look real quick down this aisle, see if there's anything exciting. What are you? Strange little bowls. I don't know that it, it says food safe, but I don't know. There's something about that a little disturbing about eating off of. This caught my eye. Classic 70s dishware, Hallcraft by Mikasa. Fun, but not not really great for resale. And I really don't see anything popping out at me. All right, we'll keep going. I did take a closer peek at this because I thought it might have been Italian, but it's made in Portugal, world market. It's not bad, but it's not something we're going to pick up today. All right, we're going to look through the soft stuff see those are you know who those remind me of gosh i want to send these to misty of thrifter junker vintage hunter she loves halloween and she's totally into glasses this is like the perfect present i'm actually going to see her in october she's coming to vegas because she's a speaker at the boss reseller remix and uh that is someplace i will be um jordan's talking about coming out Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas will be there speaking and many other of your favorite YouTubers and resellers. Uh, so think about it. Tickets are available. I have a link down in the description of this video, as well as if you can't make it out personally, a virtual ticket, virtual ticket. And I have a little code down there that if you get a virtual ticket through that link, you get 10 bucks off and then you can attend the festivities from the uh, comfort of your home computer. So I hope to see you there one way or another. Now, can we talk about the uh, the uh, Mickey Minnie pumpkin dish towel, $1.99. I feel like I need this. And we'll look through to see. I would love it if there was another one. Oh, that is an M&M's um, chef hat and apron. I'm going to look that up and see if that has some value. I was really hoping there would be, I mean, this one's Mickey, but this one's, yeah, that one's not as cute and exciting. Okay. I didn't miss any. Let me look up the M&Ms. Well, surprise, surprise. This set sells for $40 new, which means it's definitely in the 25 to $30 range pre-owned. So it's in really good shape too. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, that's just smush. I can get that up. I'll probably run this through the washing machine. Just make sure it's nice and clean and looking good. Uh, but that's, that's a good pickup. That's a good pickup right there for $5.99. Look through placemats. Hoping to find some more of that Disney stuff. Oh, what's that? What are you? You are pretty, a little quilted. There's only two of them. Flying geese? Flying geese. I guess that's the pattern, the quilting pattern name. American Pacific. Okay. I'm not going to get them. I like to get placemats in sets of four or better. It just makes it, you know, more, more bang for your buck if you are listing and reselling. Look at those napkins with little zebras on them. It's like a mom and baby zebra. $2.99. Oh no, there's giraffes too. Oh no. Oh no. And I don't know what those are. And th th these are handmade, I betcha. These are like stamped on there. Elephants. Oh, do I get them? Do I get them? Oh, I'm torn. No, I just, I don't think there's a huge market for napkins. I'm going to leave them. That one's, that one's kind of pulling at me. So I may regret that decision, but I'm, this is me trying to be selective. This is their pillow and blanket section. I'm just gonna stand back and look at it from afar and see if anything calls to me. Nothing calling to me. And then they have a little section over here that has some more things like that. 
And oh, it's like the hot pad is built into the towel. That's interesting. But it's Easter themed. That ship has sailed for now. And we got Halloween socks and we've got <laughs> we've got s'mores socks. I think what we need to do is head over to the baggy wall. Baggy wall, next destination. Alright. Of course, this is the inspiration for the baggy wall at the good stuff. We don't have quite as much space, so ours is a little more compact, but we do the kind of the same thing where we package up some similar items and then put a little um, baggy price on them. I think it's time for me to do a baggy sale again. That is a cute little box right there, but not anything I need to be picking up. Not seeing not seeing spectacular yet. Although the chickens, oh, they're turkeys. Oh no, they're little felt turkeys. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're good. One turkey in the cart is enough. I'm okay with one. What is back here? Big shells. Nice. Don't need them. I have to go through the shells that I have first and see, you know, what kind of sizes I'm needing because I put different sizes in for my hermit crabs so that they can grow. These are scarecrow hats. Cute. And I have to assess the need before I buy any more. These are little painted clamshells. Those are real painted clamshells. I'm trying to figure out what the design is. I mean that, that one is, uh, that's an iris. I can't quite figure out does it go this way or does it go this way I'm not sure and then there are some little swan container you know what this is a nice little baggie of stuff but okay you know what you know what this is this is what I do I get all this little nicky nacky stuff and then I get a little bit bogged down in dealing with my better stuff so I'm walking away I'm walking away and I am going to resist getting that sort of thing. Look at all these little angel magnets. Cute. But nope, I've got plenty of stuff to sell and whatnot right now. I'm going to resist. I just realized I never went down this aisle because, oh wait, or did I? Oh, I sure did. Oh, never mind. I thought I didn't because somebody was here at first, but yep, because I remember that. So I think this is something they brought out after I came through here, or maybe it was here. Uh, but look at this, it's got its original tag, Los Angeles Harbor Lighthouse, Historic American Lighthouse Collection, Cable Crossing. But what was really cool is this is a Lefton from 1995, and it is $8.99. We're going to pick that up. OMG. This really brings some memories because this looks like the era that I had my band and I had a country music band. Let's see, 1984. So I had my band from the late 80s to the early 90s. So I would know, <laughs> I would know how to play this game. I would be able to answer some of this trivia. Oh, this is so super tempting. I think it's in really good shape. I can't resist this. How much are you? It was uh, Louise Mandrell. Remember the Mandrell sisters? Oh my gosh. $6.99. Isn't orange though half price? I think orange was half price. I gotta get this. Okay, they have lamps and larger things over here. We're going to take a quick peek through and see if there's anything super special. I got a super giant, I mean giant lava lamp here once and I sold that for some really good money. So it never hurts to look and see what you can find in this section. 
All right, we're gonna scan the toys, but I gotta be honest, I'm really veering away from dealing in toys unless they are like cool vintage and plush. I've made my decision. So I will be lotting up all of my resaleable plush, selling them in very large reseller lots. So if that is something you might be interested in, shoot me an email at the niche lady at gmail.com. I am basically going to sell them for my cost. So uh, we're going to figure out how many we can stuff into a box and keep the shipping price down and go from there. So that's coming soon. If you're interested, you want to get on the list to purchase one or more of those, please send me an email. Okay, we are looking at the jewelry. That does not look high quality. That, I don't like the turquoise in that. Let's see. If there's anything super good in here. Oh, I like those beads. I do like those beads in the color, but I don't think it's high end or anything. All right, nothing in these bracelets. Okay, they've got necklaces down on this row. Let's see if anything is worth waiting for somebody to come over here and get it out of the case for us. See, that's always a factor. Can we even get anybody to over to the case? I don't see anything too super stunning, but I'm sure Dawn of Hudson Vintage is gonna watch this and she'll tell me what I left behind that I should have picked up. She's had me really interested in looking closer at earrings because there can be some really good earrings at these stores. Like, oh, look at those. But the turquoise just does not look good. I want to see better quality turquoise on those. I don't know if you can see. The color is just not really light, which is often just a uh, simulated turquoise. So again, if those had been like a dark true turquoise color, I would have tracked somebody down to show them closer to me. Everything just looks kind of, you know, fashiony and newer to me in this case today. That's a little interesting. Mm, I need to do another jewelry sale here pretty soon. This store has quite a bit of jewelry. It's kind of a better selection than our Goodwills have because the Goodwills grab all the good jewelry to put online and savers doesn't do that so there's probably a higher likelihood of finding a good piece at savers than there is with goodwill those that kind of matches some earrings that i picked up okay you've got the rings rings are tough because rings are sized and you got to find the person with the right size for a ring Ooh, they got some big prices on some of those rings. Goodness. Oh, but then that little tiger's eye pendant is only $7.99. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not good enough for me to sit here and wait for them to come and let me look. And then they got their designer purses back here. But again, big prices. Like the Kate Spade, cute, but they want 30 for it. So I think we're about done. Okay, I think we're gonna go check out. They do all self-checkout here, which will be fun. Uh, stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And then after that, we'll do a deep dive and we'll talk a little bit more about the items once I've done all my research on them. That's coming up right now.
Okay, and now I gotta ask myself, why am I not coming to Savers more often? That was a pretty good haul, and the prices were not bad. In fact, I mean, they're pretty aligned with what Goodwill prices are now. And I had points available and got 20% off of everything. So that was, that was really cool. That was really cool. I just have to remember to bring boxes and paper. I always forget. I need to remember to do that. I don't just keep them in my car because my car is not very big and they take up, it would take up room that I need for stuff that I put in my car all the time. So that is why I don't just, you know, carry that around. Anyway, stay tuned for the deep dive. We're going to talk a lot more about the items that I just purchased and get Bougie's opinion. Coming up. Hey Bougie, you know what time it is? You ready? Yeah? All right. He's getting used to this camera thing. Okay. I got quite a big haul. That's very loud. I have quite a big haul today. And so we're going to get to it. We have a couple of themes that happened today. We've got the boxes and we've got a bit of African art and some sea life. So we got, we got a few themes going and some great, great stuff, if you ask me. So where do we start? Let's go ahead and start. Let's start with these guys. Now, Pillsbury Doughboy, very, very desirable, collectible. He's just, he's just endearing. And there's been a lot of things that have been made in the Pillsbury Doughboy. And most of them are still highly collectible. I was quite surprised when I found these. Now there, I've got January, February, there's August. These are like a calendar series. There's April, there's March, and there's May. So January, February, March, April, May. Hmm. I got six months out of the year. Anyway, I will sell these individually. And individually, they're $20 to $25 each. I'm wondering what they cost when they were new in, in the 1990s. Are they, did they all come out the same year, 1997? Yeah, so 1997. I bet one of these was available each month. You had to wait for the next one and the next one and the next one. Now, if somebody missed one and they were limited to how many, you know, they sold out, now somebody wants to complete their collection, I guess they're paying 20 to $25. Some of them are worth even more, I found, which is a little crazy to me because they're just little guys, but but there you go. Um, pleasant, pleasantly surprised and definitely made it worth paying four fifty dollars a piece. Now remember, I did get 20% off on everything too, which was a major bonus. Uh, but I'll go with the prices that were on the tags because that's how I made my choices. So even if even if I only get 12 to 15 a piece, I am still doing good on these as far as profit margins. Let's talk about the Korok. Now, Korok is made with all types of inlaid materials. Bougie, do you like the owl? I'm on the or are you not an owl fan? What do you think of him? Do you like it? Or is that a no? You're going to click at him? Oh, you just want to preen me. Okay. No, we're not preening right now. So there's all different shapes and sizes of these Korok and all different designs on them. Now, they used to sell for a lot more than they do now. They kind of got on the radar of resellers, and so there's a lot more out there. Supply demand really dictates what things will sell for. This one doesn't have its original sticker anymore, but we clearly know it is a Korok, and uh, we kind of know the story on Korok. Uh, so this little guy is now worth only 15 to 20 dollars whereas maybe even a couple years ago he was probably worth 25 to 30 so there is that now i thought the pier one squirrel mug would be worth more than it is it's only a 12 to 15 dollar mug sadly but that's okay because we only paid 250 for him this ends up being a company called Eurocraft and I found that because I found the absolute exact bowl in a Google image search with its original sticker on it. So that's always a good way to find who makes something that you have. Uh, so it's Eurocraft, it's aluminum. He's just really, really cool. Not like a super high value item, 
But again, it's that emotional appeal kind of a thing that makes him desirable, and he'll still sell for $20 to $25. I was a little surprised to find these aren't worth as much as I thought they would be. These are all made by Lefton, and they're really nice quality. Look at the detail of the faces on these pelicans. They are made in Japan. I got the two smaller ones, and then I got the large guy, and they are going to sell in the... 15 to 30 dollar range you know he's he's like a 25 to 30 and these are like a 15 to 20 and uh i mean i'm still okay i'm still okay i'm still paid the money that's going to make me the profit but i really thought that these would be worth a little bit more based on their quality can we talk about the lighthouse lamp again another lefton product lefton made really good quality items what's really fun about this is that it has its very original historic American lighthouse tag. Most of the ones I can find selling online don't have that anymore. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition, except for one little chip I just saw right there, one little ding. But again, that's a really easy, um, put, a little, put a little gray paint on that, you'll never even know. But I will deduct a little bit on the price because of that. So I've got this one selling in the 30 to 35 dollar range but i will probably put this one up on my shopify store for 25 dollars so we have a little bit of like an african theme going here this was one of the first things i found and now i cannot find this artist anywhere online i can find similar art this has a lot of eye appeal to it and it does have the story and the artist on the back and it is a piece, I believe, I found the family name as uh, related to a family in Kenya. So this could be someone who immigrated to the United States and carried on their art here. The frame is really cool with that kind of bamboo look to it. Uh, so that piece I do have valued in the $25 to $30 range. And then the mask, which is a... Oh, let me say it right. Maasai? Maasai? I think that's what it is. A Maasai mask. And that's actually what the mask is. And then the maker on this piece is Achatit. Achatit? And there's a 6113 on there, which is probably like a mold mark for this. I don't know. It's a really cool piece. Again, this one has a little ding that I did not notice or it may have happened on the way home. I'd have to go back and look at the video, which again, I'll have to deduct a little bit for that. It is ceramic and not wood. It is painted to look like wood. So this one will be in the 20 to $25 range, but I'll probably put it at $14.99 to offset the little bit of damage on it. And of course, note that in the pictures. This is just a fun piece and it is like a, I guess they're not really a transfer. Like they put the artwork on there and then they lacquer over it. So it is a lacquerware. I don't know that you'd want to actually put a plant that gets wet in there. Might be good for like a fake plant or put another pot. I don't know. I don't know what, tell me, tell me what you would do with that. But he's really fun, colorful, has all the animals going for him. And so I've got that one down for... 20 to 25 dollars so this piece of mexican terracotta pottery i paid 850 and i couldn't attribute it to a specific um pueblo in in mexico like there's talavera there's tonala there's talakipaki there's um there's all kinds and i see a lot of this very very vibrant colorful pottery but it's not one of those i think it could just be done for the tourist industry or the import industry super beautiful colors this one has a bird and i will sell this one in the 25 to 30 dollar range um it's a good size and it's in really good condition and i paid 850 so all good there all right the turkey you know i uh, what do you say what do you say about a turkey? I think he might even be handmade. He, he, I'll have him up for sale, but I actually, if he doesn't sell, 
it's okay. It's okay because we'll just we'll just keep them around. What do you think, Bouge? Do you like the turkey? Do you want to be friends? Oh, he likes him. Oh, he's saying hello to him. Oh, that is so sweet. I thought you would kill him. Let's talk about collectible boxes. Now, a couple of these are cedar, and the cedar boxes are always a good pickup if they're in, in good shape. I'm gonna have to try to uh, pick this lock so that someone can close this. I'm sure it's doable. It's a very, very simple little mechanism. You know, the old, uh, oh gosh, bobby pin. I just dated myself there. Um, but it's got the brass strap embellishments. It's in really good shape. So all of these boxes are in the 15, 15 to $25 range based on kind of size and what they are, uh, except for this one. This one's worth just a little bit more. This one is actually a Florentine um, box, but it does, again, have a little bit of damage. Often they do. It's super old. It is made in Italy. It's marked right there on the bottom. So I'll still probably put this one uh, for 25 if it was in really good condition it could sell for $35 maybe even a little bit more be on the lookout this gold gilt is your clue to these Florentine pieces both in the trays and trinket boxes and things like that really really collectible this I found out let me let me say it right it's Papa Papa Teal Papa Teo. it's an inlaid straw made in Mexico it's got a little Mexican scene on it. Again, just a nice little, probably a souvenir piece from Mexico, but very collectible. Look at the work that was done in that. All of those little pieces of straw laid in there like one by one. And then this would hold a deck of cards. It's a card box, hence the Queen of Clubs being on there, but look at all the inlay work on that. So also a very, very nice little piece. This is another little cedar box, and it's just stamped with the city that it came from. So you can probably find these from all different cities, but the construction is really, really good on these. Again, super collectible because cedar keeps bugs away. So people use cedar to put things in that they want to keep safe from, you know, being eaten by small critters. Uh, fearless. I love that saying, number one. This is a nice ceramic box made by Patina V History and Style Collide. And uh, this one I found out is a brand that is made for anthropology, which makes it very, very collectible. So uh, we got that one. And then we've got this cool thing here, which could be a doll chest or it could be a jewelry box your choice of what you would want to do with that piece i may yeah i'm going to put it i'm going to put it in the in the shop for sale these as i showed in the video are by imperial glass so that is the imperial glass makers mark embossed down there on the bottom so now you know the i and the g a milk glass is making a comeback uh it really is i'm very surprised i actually really like the imperial glass milk glass because it's very very defined as to their like their patterns what they put on it this is logan berry very nicely constructed sturdy little vase they're still only worth about 12 to 15 dollars each but i only paid what 4.49 yeah so i'm good i'm good with that price do you want a pistachio you're gonna have to wait young man i have to talk about a candelabra first okay all right this is my best find of the whole shopping trip. Now, it's got needs to be like a little little reshaped in a couple of places, but this is a very old candelabra. I do believe it is bronze, could be brass, but bronze is basically a heavy brass. Now, it would have had prisms on it. Those are very easily replaced. That's what these little holes are for. It would have had little dangly prisms, and it looks like it would have had prisms around the little, uh, oh, oh gosh, what do you call these? I, if they're glass, they're called a bobiche. I don't know if that's what you call them if they're metal. Somebody help me with that one. Anyway, this is a super cool piece with incredible details like the griffins 
around the bottom that are kind of guarding things, the seam. Uh, this is a solid, heavy, heavy piece. See, this kind of goes into shape here. I'll have to like, you know, work on it a little bit or sell it as is. If I sell it as is, it's an easy hundred dollars, but the value goes up from there. The more I restore this piece, and this could be upwards of like $300 if I actually found all of those prisms and put this back together. If you ever find a pair, uh, you've got something really, really good because to find an original pair of these is also a really exciting thing. But I, I am super happy. $20 was a slam dunk price for me on this because it's just in the condition it's in. It's $100 all day long. Oh yes, let's not forget to mention the Fisherman's Ruler, which I was pleasantly surprised to find sells for $20 plus. So uh, that was, ended up being a very good pickup. Okay, I think I have talked about all of this. Oh, let's talk about Mickey real quick. So I've only found one online, one that is listed for 50 bucks. I don't exactly know where you would go find more of these letters, but I'm sure they're out there. Or letters, numbers. Uh, or if your address includes these three numbers, then, then you're okay. You don't have to do anything. Uh, this is a really great piece and not something that there's a lot of competition on. I'm not even sure you have to put an address. Maybe uh, put something else there. But anyway, $40 to $50 all day long. Disney is so highly collectible. I know, I know there's some ugly chatter out there about Disney. I choose to keep the memories of fondness of growing up, going to Disneyland as a family, the family things we did, and not veer over to the ugly stuff. Again, Disney, high quality, eight to $10 but a really great investment at 250 and that is like one of the easiest things there is to ship. And then we have the M&M the, the &M, uh, apron and chef's hat that is being modeled by our very own chef, Noah. Yes, thank you, Noah, for uh, participating today. I was, I was very surprised to find, uh, my, I paid $5.99 for this, new 40 bucks. 40 bucks and there's not a lot of them out there for resale so it's a good find it's a good find should get about 20 bucks for it at least right bougie yeah right yeah i think he wants you to give him a pistachio you want a pistachio you want a pistachio yeah <laughs> that was his little thank you noah and last but not least, this is just, this was a little emotional trigger for me uh, because I had my country band back in the 90s, early 90s. So all the music from the 80s and early 90s was really uh, what I was all about back then. This is a late 80s, uh, Louise Mandrell. The Mandrell sisters were a big thing back then. I love this. I just got to find some people to play it with. I paid like three fifty dollars for it, so just a little fun. And then I can turn around and sell it, you know, for like 10 bucks down at the store when I'm done. All right, that's it. That's our haul. You scored. Noah got in here early and you got your pistachio early. Are you, hap are you happy about that? All right, so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Should we dance? Get down. Boogie, yuggy, yuggy, get down. Boogie, yuggy, yuggy.